Yeah, well, we've done, uh, we did the last three days last tour, and but this is the whole time we're on the whole thing. Actually, last year we were scheduled to do the whole thing, but um, it was just for pretend. So. Explain that. Oh, it, oh, no, we were scheduled for the whole thing, uh, and then we had to cancel okay, due to some setbacks, and then, uh, yeah, and so we only ended up doing three days. But this time we're on the whole thing, for real, we promise. How yeah. big a deal is it? Huge! It's um, growing up, coming from the scene that we come from. This is as big as it gets. Like, like it's um, like we're just a bunch of punk rock kids, and like this is since it started has been the punk rock tour. So it's like you 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 spend years growing up, going to it, and then when they call you to play, it's like wow, it's just a total honor. Like it's amazing. So I don't know. It's it's just we're the luckiest people I know. So you guys are out with Blink. Yeah, yeah. Which uh, that. Especially makes us the luckiest people. We, 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 we know. Like no, it's it's a lot like the same thing. Like like it's um, just from growing up and being a fan of their music, and now like we wake up every day and like we, they're smacking us in the. Uh, can I say ass? All right. <laughs> they're 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 smacking us in the ass in the hall and stuff, and it's just like what is what is going on right now? I don't know, Fred. Yeah, it's been it's been awesome. Those guys have totally welcomed us into their camp and uh, been uh, just super cool and hanging out and. Uh, it's been the funnest month, you know, of our lives. So, and it's going to continue all summer through the Warp Tour and going to Europe and and uh, doing all these things that we always wanted to do. It's all coming to us now. So, how long have you been doing this? Well, to, together, Fred actually joined the band um, about a year ago, and and but. Um, as far as like Taking Back Sunday's been a band for uh, close to four years now, and uh, and and we've t been touring with Fred and and the bands that Fred's been in for years. So, so we've yeah, we've all been friends for even longer than Taking Back Sunday. So, and and so what, what band were you in for? I was in this band called Breaking Pangea, and, so, and we tour with Taking Back Sunday ever since they started. So, yeah. old friends. <laughs> So uh, tell us about the album. Oh, it comes out on July 27th, and it's called Where You Want to Be, and it's, um, yeah, yeah, we just locked ourselves in this rehearsal space in New York for months, and then uh, and then we went in to record the record. We recorded with uh, Lou Giordano, like, and uh, he's just an amazing guy, like, like, like um, and he, he let us... Uh, he was he was real open to let us try stuff and and um, things like that and yeah and it's we're we're extremely stoked and it's real funny because most of us in the band it's all we've been listening to I don't know if that's pathetic or great but like <laughs> but um it, but yeah like you like wake up and somebody will have it on like, like I don't know so we're we're just real excited for people that like be able to hold it you you know like so a lot of bands some of the bands here are like oh um, well well it's um. I think uh, I think just so long as you're not compromising what you believe in and what you 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 do, it doesn't matter if you're on a major or an indie or if you do it like it, I don't know, or if you tour in a van or a bus, like uh, that, like saying you have to starve and and stuff to have credibility is crap. Like like it's so long as you're not questioning who like who you are, it doesn't matter. You know. Is there a track that's going to go? Uh yeah um actually we were um. Our, our managers here, and she told us earlier that like, they played a, they played one um, on K Rock today. I think like, it, 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 it's called a decade under the influence, and yeah, like we're pretty stoked like that. And to like just, I mean, even being a, like just a fan of music to to like know that your stuff's on the radio is kind of like, uh, yeah, I don't know, it's, it's just real cool. Um, so. uh, the song is just uh, I, I don't know. It, it's kind of like one one of those pre pre pre-midlife crisis, post-adolescent, when you realize you don't know anything kind of point in your life. That's kind of what it's about. So, <laughs> so. Yeah, well, um, I live in Brooklyn. He lives by Philly. Yeah, I'm so. in Philadelphia. Yeah. So, yeah, quite the commute. <laughs> Actually, I start, I'm from the South, like, um, and I met these guys through a friend of, of a friend years ago, and uh, I just moved up there to start playing with them, and then, uh, and then, yeah, and then we had just, I mean, like we said earlier, we just known Fred through, like, touring and things like, like, like that through his other bands. Yeah, oh, or, um, nah, they're all, um, uh, the yeah, three other guys are all New York boys. Based in Long yeah. Island. So. Long Island. <laughs>